Welcome back to Premier Basics, my name is Jordi and today we're going to create this triple exposure kind of thing in Premiere Pro. Now I did not really know how to name this effect, but it looks dope, so let me show you guys how I did it. First things first, we're gonna need a few shots, and I'm actually gonna use Storyblocks for that, more about them later because they are sponsoring this video. And you wanna look for a person on a white background, some silhouette trees where again the background is very bright, and finally some birds flying through the air, again look for that high contrast. We can now bring these three shots into Premiere Pro, and we'll start off with the woman. Open up Lumetri and locate the RGB curves, and what you wanna do is create an insane amount of contrast. Your curve should go straight, something like this. Now when you see these color artifacts, simply disable the saturation from the basic corrections. Now since the talent is moving a bit, I'm going to trim it so that it's a super short clip. Then I'll right click on it and choose speed duration, and from here change the speed to something around 5%. And from the interpolation options, we want to pick optical flow. Now what this is going to do is smoothen out the extreme slow motion that we're going to create, making her movement very slowly. But I really like the subtle movement. Now let's bring in the clip of the trees and place that on top. We're gonna do the exact same thing, decrease the saturation, then head over to the RGB curves to create an insane amount of contrast. And you want to reposition it above the talent's head. Once in place, head over to the Opacity property, from which you want to take the pen tool to draw a rough mask around the trees. The idea is to make it fit better within the talent's head. And finally are the birds. Again, same thing, decrease the saturation and create an enormous contrast. Now, for this clip, we don't want to have the white background. To remove that, head over to the Opacity property, from which you want to change the blending mode to darken. You're basically saying remove the brights, which is the white background, and keep the darks, which are the birds. Finally, reposition those birds so that they seem to fly out of those trees and perhaps draw a mask around it so that you don't see the border of the clip. You could feather the mask a bit to make the edges softer. All right, and that is the stencil which we can now use to create that triple exposure effect. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor, which is Storyblocks, from which we got these amazing stock clips from. You can find numerous of downloads from their ever-growing community-driven library with more than 1 million royalty-free high-quality stock assets. Like for instance, in this tutorial from a while back, I explained how to use the track mat effect. And just like in this tutorial, I saved a lot of time by working with stock assets, giving me the possibility to focus more on details and creativity. Storyblocks really helps me tell my story in the best possible way and bring it to life. Now besides that, you can find stock assets in HD and 4K resolution. There are various creative Premiere Pro templates, epic music and sound effects for your videos and so much more. And to top that off, you can download as many assets as you want from their library with the unlimited all-access plan. Or you can check out the other affordable plans, there is one for every need. To learn more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, simply click the first link in the description down below or go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. Alright, back to Premiere Pro. We're gonna select all the three clips right click and choose nest and this way we group them together so that we can use them as one layer underneath this layer we're going to place a different shot this could be anything again i found a cool stock clip on storyblocks then with the nested sequence selected head over to the opacity property and change the blending mode to lighten this will remove the black revealing the clip underneath and this is already starting to look really cool it's not exactly the same but we could call it a double exposure technique and now let's add a third one in there I'm actually going to go back into my nested sequence and make a copy of the talent's clip. Then go back to the main sequence and paste it in here, on top. We're going to go into Lumetri and double click on the RGB curves to reset it, since we don't want to have that extreme contrast. The desaturation can stay though. Now this is optional, but you could go back into the speed, duration properties and change the interpolation back to frame sampling, and this will act more as a stop motion, but I really like this in combination with the the rest. And now comes the magic. Change the blending mode of that top clip to color burn. The contrast might be too harsh now, but we can go ahead and select a waves clip, go into Lumetri, locate the RGB curves again, and create an inverted S curve, something like this. And this way, we're taking away the contrast, making it flat. Now you want to keep it subtle, but it's really cool to see the woman appear through it. And that is how you can make a triple exposure effect inside Adobe Premiere Pro. 
Now you can support the channel by simply liking the video. It's free and just one click, super easy to do. In this way, you're helping out the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. And as always, stay creative. Now, here on my left, guys, you can find more, more of these juicy tutorials right here.